I don't know what to do. She wants me to tell him not to come to the party, but I can't tell him not to come to the party because she really doesn't know that I know that he may not really be like she was told he was like, which means he might get his feelings hurt. But how can anyone hurt someone else's feelings when he doesn't even know what he really feels? So now I don't know what to do. <sighs> what do you do when you want to do what's right, but you don't know what's right? Well, you figure it out. I've got a show to do. Sometimes your spirits are high, but sometimes they are sagging. It's tough to be a dragon whenever things start going wrong. Cause when your temper goes higher and higher, that's when I start to breathe fire till I say stop. Cause we just got to get. Or whether you're human We're gonna have good times Oh yes, and we're gonna do just fine And you know why? Cause you and I can get along That's right, right, right here, right, right now. now We're learning how to get along And now, boys and girls, it's Randall, McGee, and Grark well, hi, kids. Party! 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 <laughs> We've got to do a show. Okay, I want to do a party, though. Yeah. Party! Party! <laughs> but, Grark, right now, we're here to do the show, okay? I thought I was so excited. Yeah, I can tell. But would you just calm down? Okay. And what we'd like to do to... Party! 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 <laughs> Excuse me, Grark. Now, look, it's time to calm down. Now, take a deep breath. You have to take a breath. Uh -huh. Why can't you? Uh -huh. I'm covering what? Uh -huh. Oh. Now, take a deep breath through your nose. <laughs> and let it out. <laughs> In. <laughs> and out. <laughs> In. <laughs> and out. All right, now. <laughs> Grork. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> Is it time for a party? Okay, I'm ready to go. Um, Grark, oh, oh, man. You're really excited about this party. Yeah, man, it's going to be fun. There's going to be food and drink, and all my friends are going to be there. But, but Grark, what? it's time to do the show. But I'm just excited, but we've got a song to start. Oh. All right. Okay. So here, just help me with this song. All right. We have a little song about making friends all around the world. We are friends. Somos amigos. Wait, 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 what was that? What was what? You were talking funny. Oh no, Somos amigos is Spanish for we are friends. Like I said, this is a song about friends all around the world. Oh, sorry. All right, let's try it again. We are friends. Somos amigos. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> That's not Spanish. No, that's Dutch and Japanese. You know those two? Would you just play the song? Sorry. You songs of me. Vey anekya pong you. Muy brusia. We are friends. It's time to have a party. Wait, party, party. <laughs> I, I almost forgot. There's something I have to do for the party. What's that? I have to talk to Wonker. Who's Wonker? He's a new kid. Is he coming to the party? He will be if I don't stop and thirst. And if he comes, he's going to ruin the whole thing. At least that's what Berna says. Look, what does she know? And, and if she does come, and he really is okay, then how are we going to get to know that? And what will Lucy say if I don't tell him that? Uh, wait, wait, wait. What? Would you stop a minute and go back to the beginning for me, please? Well, I was in this egg, see? And no, not that beginning. I mean the beginning with your problem with Wonker. Oh, that's easier. Well, you see, I was working with Essie 
to get her party already, you know, so... Oh, <laughs> thanks for coming to help me with the decorations for the birthday party, Gork. Oh, are you kidding? I wouldn't miss it. You have to have the decorations up before you can party down. Yeah. Check out these balloons. Oh, wow, they look great. Uh, what? Uh, help! Send my invitation to Mars! Hey, be careful! Don't lose any of those! Come back! <laughs> Don't worry. <sighs> Hi, Essie. Hi, oh. Pork. Hi, Bruna. <laughs> That's Quark. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, looks like you're getting ready for the old birthday party. <laughs> yeah, Quark's helping me get everything put up. <sighs> oh, it's not too bad, not too bad. I just stopped by to let you know that I will be attending. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is great, Verna. I hope everyone comes. Well, kids have been talking about it for <laughs> days. I'm sure that anybody who's anybody will be here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting that new kid, Wonker. <gasps> Wonker? You don't mean that strange creature who sits behind you at school, do you? Well, yeah. oh, you actually invited that guy? Oh, well, yeah, I, I invited everybody from our class, Berna. Anyway, I thought it would be a good way for us all to get to know him. How nice, Essie. What a sweet, thoughtful, considerate, wonderful idea. As long as you don't mind losing all your friends. <gasps> losing my friends? What do you mean? Well, just that the guy is nothing but trouble. Oh. After he's through, nobody will ever come to another party of yours again. Oh, why? What's he going to do? Oh, what is he going to do? Well, first of all, I don't know if he's had a bath in at least a year, but I certainly wouldn't want to eat any potato chips after he's had his hand in the bowl. Oh, you mean he's dirty? Oh, hadn't you noticed? No, no, I, not really. I, I mean, I never really looked that closely. Well... Perhaps you hadn't noticed his manners, either. Manners? What's wrong with his manners? Oh, well, maybe you don't consider it bad manners to slurp punch right out of the punch bowl. Oh, yuckers! Does he really do that? You're not supposed to do that? What? <sighs> anyway. Who wants to put up with some loud mouth who blabbers away constantly? Gee, I never heard him blabber. In school, he's kind of quiet. That's because he's so dumb, he's afraid to say anything in class. You should hear him after school. Oh, you mean he's dirty, he has bad manners, and he's loud? Just don't go too near him and maybe you won't notice. Of course, then you wouldn't be able to catch him stealing all your stuff. Ah, stealing? Wonker steals? Gosh, I was going to bring my old record collection to the party. You don't think he'd steal my records, do you, Berna? Huh. What do you think? I don't think I want Wonker coming to my party. Yeah, it's too bad, too. He seemed like such a nice kid. Well... Sure, he seems like a nice kid until you get to know him. Anyway, you shouldn't probably worry too much about his dirty hands. We shouldn't? No. And I wouldn't get too worked up about his bad manners or his loud mouth either. You wouldn't? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And, uh, to be perfectly honest, even if he steals all your stuff, it's not the worst thing that could happen. <gasps> it is? Gee, Bert, I kind of hate to ask this, but what is the worst thing that could happen? A fight! A fight? A fight! Oh. He'll tear the place up. Kids dazed and bloody. Broken tables, cupcakes stuck to the swings. The place is going to look like a bomb hit it. That's it! Wonker is not coming to my party! I guess not. Not in your life. <laughs> but what are you going to do now, Essie? You've already invited him. Oh, no. You're right. I'll tell him the party's canceled. Uh, yeah. Um, um, your pet ox died. Yeah, and you had to go to his funeral. Oh, but I don't have a pet ox. So? Well, that would be lying. Yeah, so? You don't want him to ruin the party, do you? No, I guess not. Quark, Quark, would you please tell Wonker? I have to get more balloons. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, <laughs> wow, Berna. 
That Wonka really sounds like a bad dude. Mm-hmm. It's a good thing you warned us about him. I mean, you saved the party. Well, well, I'm just happy to help out when I can. And it looks like Essie could use some help decorating. Huh. You sure know a lot about Wonker. Yes, indeed I do. <laughs> I'm surprised to hear you've met him. He's such a loner. Wonker? I haven't met him. You've never met him? Of course not. I stay away from people like that. They're nothing but trouble. Trust him? Huh, she does not know him! People like that make mischief. Tell me more. People like that mess up. Is that a fact? I've got some scary stories about them. What's scary is she made them all up. And you can tell from a mile away when someone's sneezy. Something about him makes you uneasy. And if he's trying to be your friend, I would not let him. She would not let him. She has not met him. Well, now that you've heard my story, now that we've heard her facts, we are not amused, but rather confused by what you say, you know. There is no way, you know. It's not okay, you know, when you don't even know These people you call people like that Yeah, so what do I do? I don't even understand what Verna means by people like that Well, that's a very good question Maybe some of these kids have an answer Yeah? Uh, what do you think, Alan? I think she was being prejudiced because yeah. she, 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 she never met him. She just doesn't want to really meet new people. She wants to stick around the people she knows and like her own kind. So why, why would she, why would she say something about Wonker and she didn't even know him? Keenan? Berna, she was judging a book by its cover. She never, she said that she saw him, but she never met him. So it's just like judging a book by its cover. What's that mean? It's just like saying if I didn't like you, right? And I just tell everybody bad things about you because I didn't like you or I didn't know you. See? You don't like me? What did I do to you? I don't think Rourke understands what Keenan means by judging a book by its cover. Can anyone else explain it to him? Shannon. Let's say right when I saw Gork, I, I said he is a dragon. I do not like dragons, so I am not going to be in any of this because I do not like dragons and I do not want to see him and I could walk away. Or otherwise, I could say, Gort. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I get it. She's giving an example. <laughs> yeah, but if, if he just all of a sudden, if, if I just went, I do not like him, he is a dragon. That would be prejudice. Prejudice? What's prejudice? Um, what, what, what do you think, Lydia? I think um, prejudice is when you judge somebody when you haven't even met him. So, you know, you don't know if he's nice or not. It's not giving the person a chance. A lot of times when you're prejudiced, you put people to other people down and you don't respect them and they've done nothing wrong to you, and they're just being the way they are, who they are. Huh. 
I'm confused. Do they need a strong to not like someone? No, Grork. We all make judgments on people. Uh, I think what they're trying to say is that you shouldn't prejudge people. Oh, well, see, that's what prejudice means, is prejudging. Well, what's the difference? Who can tell Grork? Um, Rick. Judging is kind of like when you meet someone and like you know you won't, you know you don't like them because like they hurt you or they don't treat you fairly, they cap on you and stuff like that. But prejudging is kind of saying that someone's bad when you haven't even met them yet. It's kind of like predicting that the person is going to be bad. Predicting? Hey, that's what Berna was doing. She's predicting that Wonker is going to be bad. That's right. So why would she do that? What do you think, Monique? Say, like, I'm black and Scott is kind of like, say he white, right, and I'm black, right? Yeah, I know. And like, say, I got mad at Scott, right? Some people that I know, if they get mad at one white person, they're going to be mad at, they'd be mad at all the white people just because they got mad at one person. What's wrong with that? Because they didn't do nothing to you. They, like, they can still be your friends and everything. Like, I can still, I, I, me and Scott cannot be friends, but I can still be friends with his family and other people in, in our school and stuff. But Walker's not black or white. It ain't just black and white. It's it's all colors. Racism. It can't just go through black and white. It can go through Spanish, Puerto Rican, Chinese, Chinese, Russians, everything. And it's just it's having hatred for somebody else that you really don't know. Hating guys you don't even know. I wouldn't want anyone to treat me that way. Of course you wouldn't. But what about when people do it to others? Oh, you mean like Berna? Yeah, like Berna. Oh, well, I don't like that either. So what can I do without that? I always try to stand up for the person because I don't feel that they should be treated like that. And I don't think that it's not, they haven't done anything. So I just try to stand up for them and try to reason with the other kids why you should let them play. How do you do that? Well, say, what have they ever done to you? And just give them a chance. Get, try to get to know them and then you can really judge and make an accurate judgment. Especially if this, if this person is new and you don't know them, you should make them feel even better, not make them feel bad because they're new and it's strange you're ready for them. What should I tell Wonker about coming to the party? As he told me not to have him come. What do you guys think? Let me try Mia right over here. Well, you should tell SC about what we talked about and then try to change her mind. But if she doesn't change her mind, you shouldn't have to go tell Wonker that he can't come. Tell Essie that she should, because you probably want Wonker to come now. So say, Essie, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go tell him. You can tell him. What do you think, Reuben? I think you like should go meet him and see how like how he he acts and stuff before you like disinvite him. Uh, Monica, do you have an idea? If you don't know him, maybe. Um, inviting him to the party would be a good way to get to know him, so then you could know the truth about him. Well, that gives me a good question. What do I do without Berna? You guys, you guys got an idea about that? I think you should go up to um, Berna and just ask her all these questions, like if she don't know Wonka, then why is she saying all this bad stuff about him? You think that will work? Yeah. 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 Maybe, like, if you talk to her, she might change her mind and give her, give Wonka a chance. Yeah. Some other ideas? What should Grork do with Berna? Aaron. Just before you leave anything from her, just go find out the truth. I think that's the best way because you don't know everything she says is, is true or not. So, Grork? What? After talking to these kids, what do you think you're going to do? Well, I think I'm going to go and tell Essie that... All those things Berna said weren't really true. Yeah? Because Berna doesn't really know him. And then what? And then I'm not going to tell Wonker what they said. Then we'll just let him come to the party, and I'll hang out with him and make sure everything kind of goes well. And then the other kids can see what a nice guy he, he could be. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I smart are hot. <laughs> You're brilliant. I know. I'm so bright. My mother calls me son. <laughs> right. Now, can we get back to our show? Show? I can't do a show. I gotta talk to Essie right now. <laughs> <laughs>
What about our show? You can do both our parts. I'll be right back. Wow! Thanks for coming early to help, guys. Sure. Oh, I'll put this great. up over here. Okay. Oh. Uh, hi. Hey, Essie. I, I need to talk to you. Oh, hi, Gork. You are just in time to help. Look at it all. Oh, did you talk to Wonker? Uh, listen, Essie, I think we've made a big mistake about Wonker. Wonker? I heard that guy was in a gang. A gang? Who told you that? Nubs told me. Nubs told you? No. Uh, I said he robbed an ice cream store. An ice cream store? Yeah. Where'd you hear that? It was Essie. Essie? No, no, no. I said he would steal stuff at our party. And how do you know that? Well, Berna said so. Yeah, Berna said so. But what if I told you Berna never met Wonker? What? Never met Wonker? Right, Berna never met Wonker. But, 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 but all that stuff she told about him? Well, she sounded like she really knew the guy. Well, she didn't. She never even met him. But look at all the rumors she's gotten started. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Wonker gets blamed for that flu that's going around. Uh, uh, achoo! Was that Wonker? Wait till I get my hands on the rascal. See what I mean? Berna believes all these things about someone she doesn't even know. And now she has us believing them, too. But, Cork, I don't want to take any risks. There are enough kids coming to the party who I know won't cause problems. Essie, if we actually had a good reason to think Wonker might cause problems, then we wouldn't want him to come. But we don't. We're just being prejudiced. He's right, Essie. Besides, meeting new and different people is one of the things that makes a party fun. Oh, wait a minute. I'm confused. Oh, now, where did Berna get all those ideas about Wonker? Well, why don't you ask her? Essie, look what I brought for your party. Some confetti and a few more streamers. Oh, confetti and streamers? Wow! Boy, that guy at the store really got my goat. The minute I pick up the confetti, he tells me to put it on the counter so I don't forget to pay for it. Forget to pay? He meant steal, Muggsy. You were going to steal the confetti? Of course not. I don't steal. I even showed him my money. Then, uh, why did he think you would steal? Just because I'm a kid. He doesn't even know me and he thinks I'm a thief. I can't stand people like that. Like what? Hm. Oh, oh, Muggsy, you know. People who judge other people they don't even know. Berna, what about Wonker? Wonker? What about him? Well, didn't you say he might wreck the party? Mm-hmm. Did you say he would also steal stuff? That's what I said. And that he would start a fight? Yep. And that he might slurp the punch bowl? That he will slurp the punch bowl. But you told Grok that you never even met Wonker. <laughs> oh, technicality. So how do you know all those bad things about him? Listen, I guess I have to spell it out for you guys because you don't know the way of the world. I don't need to actually know Wonker to know all about him. My cousin lives in a neighborhood with tons of kids the same color as Wonker, and he told me what they're like. And believe me, you want to stay away from his kind. Berna, that's not right. You can't decide what Wonker is like just by what your cousin says about his color. You're doing exactly to Wonker what the clerk at the store did to you. What do you mean? You're judging him without even getting to know him. Oh, this is different. No, it isn't. It is exactly the same thing. That guy in the store treated you like a thief just because you were a kid. How did that make you feel, Berna? <sighs> oh, all right. So it made me mad. So what's your point? Prejudice always hurts someone's feelings. Yeah, like the time some boys wouldn't let me play with their electric train set just because I'm a girl. Or when no one ever chooses me for their basketball team just because I'm short. Actually, I'm a great shot. And one time some kids wouldn't play with me because my family comes from a different country. Oh, and they said I was short, too. Okay, okay. I get your point. Let the kid come to the party. I think it'll be fun to have Wonker at the party. Yeah. We'll really get to know him. Wouldn't it be a nice world if everyone did that? 
Did what? Have Wonka to their parties? No, Muggsy. If everyone got to know people before they judged them. Ha! That's a dream. But, Erna, everything good starts with a dream. Yeah. Didn't Martin Luther King have a dream that someday people would be judged by who they really are and not what they look like? Oh. I have a dream that you'll accept me and not reject me because of my skin. You'll look inside me to where I hide me. See who I am. have a dream you won't exclude me or treat me rudely cause I'm teeny ween just cause I'm little it don't mean ditto let's be a team I have a dream take it Essie I have a dream that you won't judge me or think less of me cause I'm a girl and you will show me that you want to know me for who I am I have a dream when you prejudge us then you begrudge us the chance to show you what we're worth if you're different from us that shouldn't bomb us there's room for all of us on earth Go Muggsy! I have a dream that I won't be scorned I was born in another land No matter where we're from We're equals, everyone Please understand I have a dream Bring it on, I have a dream And it won't get thrown up That you're the grown-up And I'm just green If you don't frown on me Look weird to you, but end up dear to you. So now you see, we have a dream. One more time. We have a dream. Yes, we do. That it won't matter no, it won't. if we're thin or fatter or in between. We could look weird to you, but end up dear to you. So now you see, we. Oh, good, you're back. Well, did you get things worked out? Oh, yeah, I talked to Essie, and all the others decided that it wasn't fair to judge someone by what somebody else says. Good, good, so is Wonker getting to come to the party? Oh, yeah, he gets to come to the party. That way, we can all get to know him and decide for ourselves what he's like. That's great, Clark. Speaking of friends, we still have a song to finish. Oh, yeah? Well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> it's time to have a party. A party! For everyone around the world. Every man and woman, uh-huh. Every boy and girl. Just forget your quarrels. Oh, yeah. Send your troubles on a holiday. When we get together, this is what we say. We are friends. We are friends. Somos amigos. Amigos. Bei sein Frienden. Otomodachi des. That's Japanese. Nu soms ami. Nu soms ami. Beyanekya pong you. Pong you. Muidrusya. That's Russian. We are friends. <laughs> 